professionally managed housing and services. Permanent supportive housing looks and functions much like any other type of housing. People living in supportive housing have a private and secure place to make their home, just like other members of the community with the same rights and responsibilities. The difference is that they can access at their own option services designed to address their individual needs and preferences. These services may include the help of a case manager or counselor, help in building independent living and tenancy skills, assistance with integrating into the community, and connections to community-based health care treatment and employment services. Support affordable housing in your communities. Hi, my name is Raquel. I'm calling with the Colorado. Criminal Justice Reform Coalition uh, is just calling tonight to tell you how to plan to reduce homelessness in Aurora uh, and because we need your help. On Monday, September 17th at 7.30, Aurora City Council is gonna be voting on a plan by Second Chance Center to build a 50 unit permanent housing project called Providence at the Heights. Path would be located at 15602 East Alameda Parkway on land sold to Second Chance Center by Elevation Christian Church. Uh, these apartments would be available at a very reduced price uh, and rent, and building would be managed 24-7. Uh, and also the services provided for folks would be located on site. Uh, but what we're really calling for is your support and um, to ask, see if you'd be able to call or help us, you know, call city or city council or show up with us to let them know that you support this plan. If you're interested, please give us a call back. Um, CCJRC, our number is 303-825-0122. Again, that's 303-825-0122. Thank you so much. Will this be a group home? No, this will be an apartment building designed to provide affordable housing to people who are experiencing homelessness. Each apartment is a separate residence available to rent by an individual, couple, or family. Is this a homeless shelter? No, these apartments will use a permanent supportive housing model that combines housing and services for people who need support to live stably and independently in their community. It is a permanent solution to homelessness rather than a stopgap emergency solution that only provides a place to sleep for the night. Residents may live in their apartment as long as they pay their rent and abide by their lease agreement. Permanent supportive housing has been shown to be an effective model to help the most vulnerable achieve housing stability, mental wellness, and sobriety.